Hello everyone, welcome to the class. Today's video is a part of a new series where we shall try to solve some objective questions from the civil engineering book of RS Kromi and JK Gupta. As because I have seen a lot of people who have seen lots of questions, lots of common questions may be found in many competitive exams. Both competitive exams are in a book or for a book common questions I mean be okay so let's start with the question the first question is the term soil mechanics was coined by dr. Karl Tarzaki of course it is true yes so option one a is the answer the soil transported by running water is alien soil marine soil alluvial soil lacustrine soil by running water we know it is alluvial soil alien soil is wind Yes, marine soil is sea or ocean, lacustrine soil is lake. Yes, so the correct answer is alluvial soil. Okay. Third question the soil transported by wind, of course, alien soil. The lacustrine, lacustrine soils are those soils which are deposited by at, or deposited at the bottom of the lakes. Okay glacial soils glacial soils are those soils deposited in sea water deposited at the bottom of the lakes and transported by running water neither of this is true glacial soils are the uh, soils that are transported with the help of glaciers zone the option to nine that your option d to answer hobo. yes option need here to none of this for engineering purposes soil is defined as number a loose mantle at the surface of the earth which favors the growth of plant a natural aggregate of minerals grains loose or moderately cohesive inorganic or organic nature a disintegrated rock all of the above option a to hoy agriculture karne for engineering purposes option b is should be the correct answer okay according to geologist soil is defined as a disintegrated rock yes according to the geologist may be defined as a disintegrated rock by an agriculturist okay all of our question the answer is a okay loose mantle at the surface of the earth which favors the growth of plants which of the following is transported by wind a talus b lois c drift okay which of the following soil is transported by wind so lois is transported by wind talus is transported by glacial water talus is not transported by glacial water okay so it is wrong drift is transported by glacial water talus is a type of soil which is transported by gravitational force so this is called colluvial soil okay colluvial soil colluvial soil talus is a colluvial soil that is transported by with the help of gravitational force soils are derived from igneous rock sedimentary rock metamorphic rock it may be any of these yes chemical weathering of soil is caused due to oxidation hydration carbonation and leaching all of this yes what will be the answer the answer will be all of this soil transported by glaciers either by ice or water is called drift all about the color yes mechanical weathering of soil is caused by periodical temperature changes splitting action of flow water splitting action of ice all of this yes what will be the answer all of this mechanical weathering or physical weathering and because the sort echo change to hoy soil or properties would change when as a zeneca parent rock or property hoy then a quite zone to soil form hoy taro properties same thing chemical change or by chemical weathering or properties would change hoy jai okay when the soils are carried away by force of gravity they are known as transported soil or residual soil of course they are also a type of transported soil residual soils are sand seals clay all of this residual soils are 
all of this any soil may be residual so residual soil or those soil which stay at the point where they are weathered or zot form which say that is the stake or the time it will go residual soil okay let's continue with our next question civil engineer is concerned mainly with dash top mantle of soil in dealing with small and medium size projects small and medium size projects so can 10 to 15 meter of soil ami top mantle to ami consider kuru okay cohesionless soils are cohesionless soil mane jot cohesion na thake the action of cohesion is not present that is sense okay silt and clays are considered as cohesive soils maximum size of grains of silt is about silt or maximum size ki man thake silt or maximum size actually silt or maximum size to hobo lage sil 0.075 mm so jehotu hei option to dia nai usorot option to ase that is 0.06 mm okay maximum size of grains of silt is about 0.06 mm actually 75 micron no hobo lage sil okay silt is a material deposited by glacier soil composed of two different soils fine grain soil with little or no plasticity clay with a high percentage of clay minerals so option c is the correct answer fine grain soil with little or no plasticity black cotton soil is next question is black cotton soil is organic in nature contains large percentage of clay mineral exhibits high uh, sorry is organic in nature option b contains large percentage of clay minerals c exhibits high compressibility d all of this so question number 21 answer is all of this black cotton soils are dash soil expensive soil or residual soil it's not expensive it should be expansive okay expansive e x p a n s i v e e x p a n s i v e okay expansive soil mane fully jay a fine grain soil has low permeability has high compressibility may or may not be plastic all of this okay 23 is all of this okay consolidation and compressibility of soil is a measure of ability of soil to allow the water to pass through its pores is a measure of the ability of soil to bear stresses without failure deals with changes in volume of pores in a soil under load any of the above so consolidation and compressibility deals with the change in volume consolidation mane change in volume setia pores or pora pani ulai jay compressibility is the change in volume jitia pores or pora hawa ulai jay okay जब पोर्स से पानी निकल जाता है तो उसको हम लोग कंसोलिडेशन कहते हैं फोर्स सॉइल में फोर्स डालने से अगर पोर्स से पानी निकलता है तो उसको हम लोग कंसोलिडेशन कहते हैं अगर फोर्स डालने से सिर्फ हवा निकलता है और वॉल्यूम चेंज होता है तो उसको हम लोग कहते हैं कंप्रेसिबिलिटी और कॉम्पैक्शन ओके मिनिमम साइज ऑफ ग्रेन्स ऑफ सिल्ट मिनिमम साइज ऑफ ग्रेन्स ऑफ सिल्ट इज हाउ मच minimum size of grains of soil grains of silt is 0.0002 mm 0.002 mm 0.02 mm or 0.2 mm what is the correct answer the answer is 2 micron that is 0.0002 mm okay and lesser than so this value is clay okay the property of a soil which is of great importance in finding settlement of structures is number a permeability number b shear strength number c consolidation number d compressibility so question number 26 answer is consolidation jeti ami settlement criteria use koru tetia soil or consolidation ki man hoy ase soil me kitna consolidation ho raha he tu ami bisaru wo hum log dhonte okay 
sand is almost non compressible it is correct or incorrect 27 it is correct it is almost non compressible maximum size of particles of clay is about clay maximum size kiman hoy what is the maximum size of clay particles maximum size of clay particle is how much 0.002 mm it is 2 micron okay okay minimum size of grain of silt is will be 0.002 mm okay not this let me correct it should be 2 micron okay 2 micrometer तार पिछते क्ले भेलू स्टार्ट हो जाए येस इफ द पोर्स ऑफ ए सोएल आर लेट्स कंटिन्यू टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ द पोर्स ऑफ ए सोएल आर कंप्लीटली फुल ऑफ एयर ओनली द सोएल इज सेड टू बी ड्राई सोएल येस फॉर ऑब्वियस रीजंस इट इज टोन एज ड्राई सोएल ओके मॉइस्ट सोएल इज डैश सेचुरेटेड सोएल मॉइस्ट सोएल इज डैश सेचुरेटेड सोएल सो moisture is fully or partially it is partially saturated soil okay the ratio of volume of voids to the volume of soil mass is called volume of voids that is vv by volume of soil mass that is total volume yes total volume of soil mass vv by v is porosity yes it is equal to n yes so the question number 32 answer is 31 answer is b question number 32 the ratio of unit weight of solids to that of water unit weight of solids to that of water it is called specific gravity yes the degree of saturation of a next next question is the degree of saturation of a soil is saturation of a soil is volume of water by volume of voids is equal to degree of saturation so you can say this yes volume of water by volume of voids next question is the unit weight of a soil at zero air void depends upon unit weight of water water content specific gravity and all of this so the answer will be all of this zero air void dot unit weight of water over water depend kore वाटर कंटेंट और ऊपर तो डिपेंड करे एंड स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी और ऊपर तो डिपेंड करे ओके इफ डब्ल्यू इज़ द टोटल वेट ऑफ़ द सोयल मास डब्ल्यू एस इज़ द वेट ऑफ़ द सॉलिड्स तें वाटर कंटेंट इज़ इक्वल तू तें वाटर कंटेंट इज़ इक्वल तू वी ऑल नो वाटर कंटेंट इट इज़ स्मॉल डब्ल्यू इज weight of water by weight of solid so weight of water we can write as weight of or total weight minus weight of solid by weight of solid so if we solve this we get this c s answer yes w by w s minus 1 next question is the relationship between porosity and void ratio we know that relationship between porosity and void ratio is n equal to e by 1 plus e and e equal to n by 1 minus n both are correct okay number 36 both are correct the relation between void ratio degree of saturation water content and specific gravity of solids we know that E S equal to W G. Yes, 
ये फॉर्मूला को सात जन्मों तक नहीं भूलना है ई एस इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू जी द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एयर कॉन्टेंट एंड द डिग्री ऑफ सेचुरेशन एयर कॉन्टेंट एंड डिग्री ऑफ सेचुरेशन का रिलेशन है एयर कॉन्टेंट इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस सेचुरेशन ओके एयर कॉन्टेंट इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस सेचुरेशन और सेचुरेशन इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस एयर कॉन्टेंट द डिग्री ऑफ सेचुरेशन ऑफ फुल्ली सेचुरेटेड सॉइल डिग्री ऑफ सेचुरेशन ऑफ फुल्ली सेचुरेटेड सॉइल जैसे सॉइल और सेचुरेशन फुल हो जाए डिग्री ऑफ सेचुरेशन हमें को वन और हंड्रेड परसेंट ओके नेक्स्ट एंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे द वॉयड रेशियो फॉर सेचुरेटेड सॉइल इज इक्वल टू डैश ऑफ वाटर कंटेंट एंड स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ सॉलिड्स द वॉयड रेशियो ऑफ सेचुरेटेड सॉइल द वॉयड रेशियो ऑफ सेचुरेटेड सॉइल एस इक्वल टू वन ओके इज इक्वल टू डैश ऑफ वाटर कंटेंट एंड स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ सॉइल वी नो दैट ई एस इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू जी ओके एस इज इक्वल टू वन एस इज इक्वल टू वन सो यू कैन से इट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वाटर कंटेंट एंड स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ सॉलिड्स दैट इज इक्वल टू इम्प्लाइज दैट ई इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू जी यस सो आज का नियम है आज के लिए इतना ही ओके स्टडी हार्ड All the best. See you in the next video. You will see this next question questions in the next video. I mean next video. Bagi kini questions sam. Okay. Thank you.